It's your girl Sin and I am back with another video. And if you want to see what I'm doing today, stay tuned. Hey, show check. Welcome back, Prince Squad, big timers, old timers, t shirtpreneurs. And if this is your first time watching my videos, welcome, first timers. If y'all been keeping up with your girl, y'all would know in a previous video, I unboxed some transfers from bestdtfusa.com. So, I'm going to show y'all some of these transfers. And the owner of bestdtfusa.com is my homie, Jesus Corona. So shout out to Jesus. I'm going to show y'all some of these transfers that I unboxed in the last video. So right here, this roll is actually, it actually got some of his stock transfers on it. So you can go on there and you can order you one of these sheets from his website, which I'll leave a link for you down below this video. And right here, as y'all see, it's a bunch of different tennis shoes. So those of y'all who are into the shoes and stuff like that, this would be this would be a good role for y'all. So right here, as I was telling y'all in the last video, I figured my son would really love this design right here and this design because he plays basketball and his screen name is Money Baskets. So right here, this is the, uh, the transfer. So I'm going to be pressing up a shirt just to test out some of these transfers for you guys. All right, so I am just going to go ahead and cut out this transfer right here which is the one that I'm going to be pressing today. And for those of y'all that have been wondering a few things that have had a few questions about the transfers, um, I had, I had someone that was asking me how big the transfers are. So it really depends. It really depends on which transfers you get. If you order them custom, you can get them any size that you choose. But right here, we're just going to measure this one from the widest points. So we are going to go from here. So this one is about, about 10 and a half inches or so wide, around 10 and a half inches with the width. Um, my basic size when I'm doing customs, when I'm printing stuff for myself is 11 inches wide. So that is not a bad size. That's pretty good. It looks it, I could do 10 inches. I have done that before. So this one, it's, uh, it's about 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So that's a pretty good size. So I'm just going to compare it to the design right here that, you know, this is one of my designs. I'm just going to put it on my shirt and compare it to that. It is pretty much the same with actually it may be slightly wider than my design but it's, it's basically the same width but it may be um this one may actually be a little bit wider so i got two different shirt color options that i was thinking about printing this on um i i guess i could go with the black too i'm gonna just kind of lay it out and check it out with the different shirt color options and see what i think looks the best and y'all can leave me comments down below because um just in case you know i'm gonna let y'all kind of preview what this will look like on different colors just in case y'all decide y'all want to order these same transfers and just in case y'all want to this is called it's the shoes too so if y'all look up shoes too y'all should be able to find this money jordan shoe design on that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna lay it out and i'm gonna just try it with a few different color options and let y'all see what it look like and then i'm gonna make my choice and go ahead and print this shirt all right so the first color option we are going to try is going to be the black right here so we're just gonna lay this black shirt out right there and we're we're going to take the design and we're going to lay it out on the black shirt so that is what it's looking like laid out on the black shirt yeah it does it does look pretty nice on the black shirt i don't know i wasn't gonna go with the black but i might i might go with the black we're gonna try a different color option option number two right here option number two is the green the green shirt so I was just thinking money green, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it on the green. I was thinking that green and gold would look real good together, but this green is, it need to be a little darker and I don't have one that's darker. So 
We're going to say no go on that green right there. All right, so option number three is going to be this gray shirt right here, which is charcoal gray. No, I think I'm feeling it. I'm, I think I'm feeling it more on that black. I think I'm feeling it more on the black. I'm going to do one more option, and I don't even think I have the right size. I'm going to do one more option with this Heather, but even though I don't have it in that right size, just in case some of y'all are thinking about getting those transfers, you know, it'll be nice to know, hey, I like how it looked on whatever color shirt, because I know everybody don't have a big stock of shirts like I do, because I sell the blank shirt, so, you know, I keep a big stock of them. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with the black. So we're going to go with the black shirt right there. So I'm going to go ahead lay this black shirt back out and we're gonna lint roll it because y'all know black likes to attract all of the lintaciousness it it loves to be linty linty fresh so we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and try it All right, we're going to go ahead and grab it and find the center of it. All right, and then we're going to find our location, which is going to be on that four right there. All right, so the directions say 315 degrees for 15 seconds. So, all right, so we got the heat press up to temp, pretty much up to temp. So we're gonna go ahead and press. And I had mine on 12 seconds, so we're gonna hold it for three extra seconds just to make sure that we get the full press on there. So we're going to go three, two, one. So we're going to let it cool completely. We're going to take it off the heat press to let it cool because Jesus got on me in the last video that I pressed one of his transfers and he was like, hey, take that thing off there, off that heat press. Hey, he said, hey, take that thing off that heat press and let it cool, then put it back on the heat press. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it off the heat press, let it cool, and then we're going to repress. All right, so it has cooled off. We're going to go ahead and peel. It does not take long to peel. I mean, it does not take long to cool off, just a few seconds. And one thing that I do like about these transfers, like if you look at it, as you see right now, after the first initial press, the transfers are not glossy. They are a matte, which is the way I like for my for my transfers to be I don't I do not like shiny transfers it remind me too much of vinyl and I just don't like it this is what what the peel looks like this is what it looks like after I've peeled it the sheet is a glossy sheet and on the opposite side it is like frosted and you can see where the design was right there so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it the full repress for five seconds all right so we got the shirt ready and we move this sheet out the way and i'll let you guys check it out so here is what it's looking like y'all let me know what y'all think my son is really gonna love this shirt y'all and the the hand to it is pretty soft for dtf this shirt I got on is DTF. You, it is stretchable. I'm going to let it cool off, but it is stretchable. And by, like a lot of people be like, why do people be stretching it? Nobody's going to stretch their shirt like that. Okay, when you put your shirt in the washing machine, it's getting stretched back and forth, back and forth, pulled back and forth in the washing machine. I don't know if y'all ever got something caught up around the, um, the center piece. I don't know what you call it, but that center piece in there. But sometimes it does like pull and, you know, put a lot of extra stress on your shirts that's why we pull the shirts because you're you know when you when your shirt is being washed and dried and different things it's a lot of stress being put on it so by pulling the shirt like this and you see that 
you know, it's still good. The design is not cracking or anything. That's what's going to happen when you wash it. The design is not going to crack if you can if you can stretch it. That works with screen printing. I, you know, it works with pretty much anything. That's one way that you can tell if a shirt is cured when you screen print it by stretching it. If you're still watching and you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're watching and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you in the next episode. But until then, be blessed.